Ross, what are some of the best tips for writing a web series? Um, well, I, I think the first demand in web series is to be economical in your storytelling and to make sure that you're telling that each word that you write in, in your script does something to advance the story, to entertain, to uh, clarify who the characters are, to deepen the characters, and to, you know, use it. You've got such a limited amount of time. You should use every second you have for um, entertaining. What do you advise to your students in terms of looking at other web series? Do you have them go on YouTube or, or Vimeo and things like that? And a Absolutely, and I, and I try to screen for them in class, both examples of things that I think are very good and examples that I think are not very good, and to talk about uh, you know, where someone might have gone wrong, in my, my opinion, including showing previous student work. I had a, I had a student uh, several years ago who had a, what I thought was a terrific idea for a web series. It was called Model Family, and it was narrated by a 15-year-old boy who said, I, I don't feel right in my family. I don't fit with my family because I grew up in a mo model family. I don't mean everybody's perfect. I mean everybody's a model. And then you meet his family, and his father's the brawny paper towel kind of model guy, and his mother's an underwear model, and his brother's a uh, like an Abercrombie shirtless jean model, and they're in those characters uh, as if they come off the pages of a magazine as real human beings in the house too. And I thought it was a very clever concept for a web series, and then they went to cast it, and they had trouble. I teach at Chapman University at the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts, and we're in Orange County, so sometimes it's hard to get actors to come from LA. And they had a casting session and said, well, we really didn't get anybody good, so the student cast himself as the father and it completely ruined the show. You didn't believe it was a real family. You have to believe for that premise that as um, bizarre as the family is, that it has some sense of reality to it. Right, and that's what I'm curious about is what is it that makes an audience sort of glob on to the series and the characters versus not, and I'm sure it's not a science. And yeah, it, it isn't a science, it's an art there, but you know, the characters I think are, are the main thing that when, when they are, uh, kind of this paradox of both fresh and relatable. You know, you, um, when you, if I've named any television show for, for you, if I said, uh, say classic television shows, Happy Days, first thing that's gonna come to your mind is the Fonz, I, I would bet. Or if I said All in the Family, the first thing that's gonna come to your mind is Archie Bunker. T today, if you say something, Modern Family, the first thing that's gonna come to someone's mind is whichever of those characters are their favorite characters. And that's what brings you back episode after episode to a series there. You relate to the characters. It's why I think um, Felicia Day's show, The Guild, had uh, such a long life there because she had a, it was about ga online gamers and she had an audience of people who were online gamers themselves so they could relate to those characters. So going back to Model Family, um, sure. if, if it had been redone and these were more, even if they weren't likable characters, but you just, there was something in them that was more human? What, what do you think it was? I, I think it was the casting in, 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 and the direction in that particular series there. But yeah, I think the concept was a good concept there. But when you take a 22-year-old guy, even a guy with a beard, and say, hi, I'm the dad, it, it, it doesn't seem like a family to you. It seems like students play acting at that point in time. It's why you know I advise, whether they're my students or they're people out in the world who are making web series, that you need to find real actors to be the actors. I, I know we'd all like to pretend that we can act, but we all can't act. And so it's really worth the effort to go to a theater department somewhere, go to a local theater, find actors who can bring something, professionalism, to your project.